All right, hi everybody, Annalisa Burgos here. I am at the Kalihi testing site in Kalakaua District Park. Let me give you a look at how this is being done because it's different from the other ones. This is actually a walk-in only, so you can't actually sit in your car and drive in for the testing event. To give you a warning, um, there's a lot of parking issues that people are having already. So be aware if you actually have uh, an appointment set up for this location. And also it doesn't really matter whether you have an appointment or not because they are putting everyone in the same line. So if you come and you think your appointment's at 9.30 and you come at 9.30, you still have to wait in this line. So just to let you know, because my appointment was at nine and I'm still in line. Okay, so let me give you a look at what the line is looking at. It's actually moving pretty fast. So you don't have to worry too much. Um, I'm gonna try not to show some faces, okay? But here's the National Guard taking care of everything. So this is the park, as you can see. I'm gonna show you how the line is going, is being set up. They're encouraging people to register online though because it saves time. So again, people have been complaining that they didn't know that this was a walk-up testing only, that you're not allowed to sit in your car and wait in it. So um, just be aware. It's not too bad, like I said, and the line moves pretty quickly. We talked to a couple of people that worried that there's not much social distancing going on, but again, we are in the heat. There is trade winds. Um, they, everyone's wearing masks and so hopefully that will alleviate some of the concerns here so again here's the beginning you see a police officer directing traffic whether you have an appointment or not you are going to have to stand in this line so that's the beginning and then it kind of snakes around with all these um uh tape and stanions uh, stanchions around this parking lot and you see some National Guards kind of directing traffic. And again, I spoke to some people that were kind of surprised that their appointment time didn't really matter. Um, but again, that's for registration. It's not really to designate time. Hey, how's it going? All right, doing the National Guard, doing the job. Okay, I have to... I asked someone to hold my place while I was doing, there she is, okay. I'm just looking. So basically it snakes around here. And then I made an appointment. So like I said, it was at nine. She was just kind enough to hold my place while I'm doing this. <laughs> and here's the test. And so basically I'm almost there. Actually it wasn't too bad. They opened at nine and the line pretty, moves pretty fast. So this is where they register. There's Paul who's waiting for me. I'm standing in line, Paul, sorry. Uh, that's my cameraman waiting for me because we're, we're doing it properly. We don't want to, you know, not be in line and, and experience it ourselves. Uh, people are asking, this is the Kalihi COVID-19 surge testing site. So this is only walk up. There's no drive-through. Uh, this is where you basically line up outside, right there. It's not too bad. And then you go in and register here. And then over there in the back, you see the um, tents that are set up where they're actually doing the self-swabbing. I am out of breath, sorry, Brian. It's because I was walking around this whole area and I'm wearing my mask. Here's me. Hi, yes, it's hot. I'm walking around and trying to show people what this actual site is set up like, so that's why I look like that and out of breath. Yes, I'm getting tested. I have my appointment set up. Um, yeah, so some people said, let's see, I'm, I'm gonna try to see what kind of comments you guys are having. Yeah, there was some concern. I spoke to some people that there's not much social distancing happening, but again, um, people are wearing their masks. We're outside, the wind is going, so hopefully that will alleviate all of that. 
if that's a big concern, I'll ask again the person in charge once I get up there what that concern is. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. The parking situation here is pretty bad. So if you have an appointment today, just uh, be aware that you might have to have someone drop you off or you can um, find some parking. I spoke to some people that sadly have had to illegally park in local shopping malls or um, areas just because they couldn't find parking to get to the testing, but they felt it was important enough. So again, just to look at the live testing site. Where, where's my lady? There she is, oh yeah, okay. So I'm almost there, yay. Address of the walk-in testing site. This is Kalakaua District Park. Um, I don't know the exact address, but it's in Kalihi. We're near Kapalama Shopping Center, if that gives you a better landmark. We are on lockdown, but remember the exemption is medical reasons. So people are allowed to go out based on their um, needs for medical reasons. And this is a medical reason. And then you see there, council member uh, Joey Manahan, or Joey Manahan, sorry about that. Uh, basically helping the community. He's been a big advocate of mass testing. So he was part of uh, the movement to try to get this here. You can see some police presence there. <laughs> All right, so I'm almost to the line. That wasn't too bad. What time is it? 9.30. 9.30, okay. I was in line tonight. Oh, there's Radiant. Hello, Radiant. How's it going? This is uh, Facebook Live. I don't know. Hi, how are you? I have an appointment. Hey, where do I go for my appointment? Okay. You present your ID at this station and you get your uh, test kits. Okay. Uh, and then you can proceed to the testing area. Okay. Thank All right. You. Okay. I see Paul now ready to do my thing. So I'm going to cut off on this and join later. Okay, guys? I can't do both at the same time, but I'll give you a look at it a little bit later. All right, everyone. Hi, it's Annalisa Burgos back. Uh, I had to turn it off for a little bit as I did the test on myself and my camera guy filmed it for us. So basically I'm in the area where the testing is actually happening. So when I saw you last in the other video, that's when I registered and showed them my, um, my appointment paper and then they gave me the test kit. And then we stood in a little bit of a line and then they sent us to this area. Where as you can see, let me show you what I'm looking at just so you guys have an idea. I'm still at the Kalihi COVID-19 surge, surge testing site. Uh, this is being held at Kalakaua District Park. And you can see the row of tents there. So this is where the actual self-testing is being done. So these first responders and medical professionals are telling people that are um, with their test kits on how to actually do it on themselves. So you take a, and I've done it, so now um, I know what it's like. You have the swab and then you swirl it in each nostril for about, for five times each, and then break it off into the tube and then give the test kit back to the medical professional. So you actually, the medical professional doesn't actually hold any part of that test kit, it's all you. So it limits the, you know, interaction and the spread of any kind of mucus or uh, parts of the sample. They also stand far. You can see that first lady there. That's how far they're doing it. Um, you can go close at the beginning so that you can hear what the instructions are. And then you step back and actually do the sample on yourself. So that's what I did actually. So again, this is a look at the Kalihi walk-in only testing site. It's going until 2 p.m. Uh, you do not have to have an appointment actually. You could just walk up, but they do recommend that you register online so it saves you time and you don't have to actually register on an iPad when you get here. If you already can register online and bring your your paper, <coughs> excuse me, um, then it'll, it'll move a lot faster. 
All right, so I just wanted to give you a, a look at what it actually is like. Uh, it was super simple. Um, I did it and it was really quick. The actual collection was only about two minutes. Uh, the line moves pretty quickly so you're not in the sun and that's a good thing. But just be aware that that's the situation and it's set up here. And they did put these blue markings on the floor to ensure that people are properly social distancing. Early on, uh, there was a little bit of confusion, but again, it's the first time that, uh, you know, they're doing it here, but there's another testing tomorrow, I believe, here. So if you want to do it here, it, it was actually, I have to say, as someone who did it, it was nice to see people. So as opposed to in a car, you know, you're in your car and you're waiting, but by standing in line, obviously it has to be six feet apart, try to maintain that. Um, I noticed that people were commiserating. You know, during this time, it's a little bit difficult. You might not have seen a lot of people during this period, especially if you've been isolating or, you know, just, just keeping to yourself. Um, I saw that people were happy to see other people. So I, I felt that energy, so even though it's a pretty scary time for this community. So again, go get tested. Do I need a COVID19test.com? And it's free, you don't need symptoms, you don't need a doctor's note, you don't need underlying conditions or even have it had a positive uh, case exposure. Although a lot of people that I spoke to today said that that was why they came out. Um, but yeah, take advantage of them. They last through, I believe, September 6th throughout the city. About 16 sites now on the website. All right, guys, take care, stay safe, aloha. Annalisa Burgos here, out.